This is happening in Hakka, Chen State, the western part of Myanmar. Some arrests have been made by the brutal council in Hakka today on March 10 and yesterday. It is reported that the council forces raided the office of CCPR at around 9 in the morning on March 9 and they arrested a young employee who works there. And also on the same day, the brutal council arrested a doctor who sits at the community clinic. He has been detained for around 8 hours and released in the evening. Some other arrests are also reported on that day as well. Despite the raids, thousands of people are rallying along the street in Hakka to reject the military coup and to demand what they want. However, they have been blocked by the council forces in front of Myanmar Economic Bank. So, they have to come back to the midpoint of the rally, Carson Hall. And let's meet a young woman who is actively participating in a prevailing federal democracy. The reason why I join the rally every day are that first, to reject the brutal dictatorship, second, to get the genuine federal democracy. The reason why I don't like the military dictatorship are that, firstly, their policy is hopeless. When we look back on our history, it can be seen that our education system is undermined. Plus, the youth's learner critical thinking is not that developed as it should be. We are not allowed to think outside the box. This is what I want to fight. Secondly, we can see how brutal they are from yesterday's event. Some youths are arrested at their places by force yesterday. So all youths in Hakka were coming out on the street calling for the release of the detainees. They told us to wait for 15 minutes and they said they will come up with an answer. We waited there for two hours, but we didn't get any response to it. In the evening, they promised us that they would release them if the crowd went home. But they still didn't keep their promise. They released a doctor only at around six and something. So, what we can know from that event is that they are not men with their words. It shows how brutal they are. The last thing I would like to say is that, as we don't know how far we will continue to fight this coup, the youth who participate in it must be healthy and strong. We have to take good care of ourselves. Besides, we have to learn some basics of healthcare skills, such as first aid kits. And also, if I may quote what Do Aung San Suu Kyi said, expect the best, prepare for the worst. We also have to be fully prepared mentally. Hear our voices, save Myanmar, save our next generation.